story movement that you just saw was actually damaging to one of the joints, or actually multiple joints in some of those cases for you. Now, it doesn't matter if you're doing it with perfect technique or some of those techniques were not maybe perfect, but either way, those were actually biomechanically sound, scientific-wise, harmful for your body. And you might actually be doing these, some of these yourself or even onto your clients, right? So if you ever wanted to consider the possibility that there's this deeper understanding of biomechanics, a deeper understanding of exercise science that would take the confusion of how do you select the right exercises to match your body or your client's body and their movement levels, then I invite you to learn more about this information. I've been teaching this to trainers all across the country since 1999, and I'm super excited to be able to share this information with you. For example, did you know that a plain side lateral causes and contributes to rotator cuff tears? There's an actual test we do in physical therapy as a physical therapist that we do to simulate the side lateral movement because we're checking to see if there is a tear. And we were checking, it's because we know it's jamming bone against bone inside the shoulder as you do this motion. And think about it, in life, when do you lift things out like this? You don't, it's not functional, it's actually damaging for your shoulder, and that's just one of all of the exercises that I've done, an example of how harmful that can be for you. And so I invite you to learn this information, how to master right exercises, what is the fundamental science of biomechanics that you can learn to take the guesswork out of picking the best exercise routine and customize it to yourself.